Good morning. The Constitutional Court yesterday unanimously accepted an appeal filed by the government against a fresh independence initiative passed by the Catalan Parliament. The court's admission means the initiative will be suspended during the review period. The popular initiative suggesting the region should declare independence from Spain was greenlit by Catalan politicians earlier this year. But despite Madrid's willingness to pass a controversial amnesty bill for those involved in the separatist movement, Justice Minister Felix Balaños emphasised that the government does not support Catalonia holding a referendum or splitting from Spain. Even so, the separatist discourse has been heating up ahead of regional Catalan elections on May the 12th. During a speech in Parliament on Monday, the Catalan president, Peri Aragones, warned that an independence referendum is inevitable. Polls suggest the Catalan wing of the main socialist party will win the most votes in the May elections, but together the separatist parties could also secure a majority. Meanwhile, Carles Puigdemont says he will quit politics if he doesn't win these snap regional elections. In an interview yesterday, he said he did not see himself as the head of the opposition in Catalonia. The government has begun the process of eliminating the so-called Golden Visa Scheme, under which foreign investors are provided with fast-tracked residency. At a cabinet meeting yesterday, ministers agreed to end the awarding of the visa, which can be obtained in exchange for buying property worth €500,000 or more. The visa scheme was created in 2013 by the Conservative government of Mariano Rajoy. It was seen as a way of attracting badly needed foreign investment in the wake of the Eurozone crisis. A total of 6,200 visas were issued until last year, according to the organisation Transparency International, although other sources put the number higher. According to the organisation, nearly half of the beneficiaries were Chinese. Russians were the next most numerous recipients. A police seized more than 16 tonnes of cocaine concealed within hundreds of bags of boiler fuel pellets and made five arrests, disrupting a multinational drug trafficking organisation. A joint task force of national police, customs and tax agents seized the narcotics belonging to a drug trafficking group whose members utilised hydraulic presses to fit their product inside the tiny pellets. Among the five arrested were Albanian, Dutch and Lithuanian nationals. Authorities said the group had offloaded the drugs from a shipping container and then left them unclaimed in a warehouse for months in the hopes of waiting out any potential police response. Two homes in Rios and Marbella were searched where some of the suspects were taken into custody. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.